You're not having to do it while the storms are happening? Three course meal, 15 to $50. <laughs> Hello. Hello, yeah. <laughs> and uh, it's not storming just yet, so you still have plenty of time if you want to be making those plans to be heading out, out there, supporting local for later on today. Here's a live look outside right now with our 10 TV tower cam. As you can see, we've got uh, nice and sunny skies. Things are pretty quiet here in the capital city. Current conditions in the upper 70s right now, but the zoo points are, you know, inching up a little bit. That's why it's making it feel more like 80 degrees outside. So it is kind of toasty as you're stepping out the door compared to earlier this morning where we actually started off in the 50s. So we did have a really refreshing start to our Monday. Here is your hour by hour forecast. The next couple of hours we should be rain free, but after that, make sure you have the rain gear. I am tracking scattered rain showers and thunderstorms, very similar to what we had yesterday. Moving in across the area between 4, 6, 8 o'clock, 10 o'clock, and then eventually as we head closer towards midnight, that storm chance goes down. But we will have storms beginning around 4 o'clock and continuing through the afternoon and heading into the evening. Now that's a big weather story, of course, because we could have some pea-sized hail, some gusty winds today. But the next big weather story is going to be the extreme heat that we're tracking as we go through the rest of the week. The heat and humidity will be building thanks to high pressure. We call this the Bermuda High setting off of the Atlantic coast, and that's just going to drive in those southerly winds, making their way all the way up to us here in Ohio. That is going to lead to a pretty hot stretch for us as we head towards the end of the week. Now, how hot is too hot? Well, the average high for this time of year is 85. We're at 87 today. That's bearable, right? It's still bearable. 89 tomorrow, 91 on Wednesday, 92 on Thursday, and then Friday, this will be the hottest day of the next 10, 94 degrees. That's almost 10 degrees above average for this time of year. So a little bit of rain is not so bad when you talk about that heat moving in. We are tracking a little bit of rain. Speaking of that, that's moved, making its way into Pike County. That's actually kind of falling apart. I call that a dying thunderstorm and some cloud debris, which is basically just old thunderstorm energy just kind of falling apart. Now that's south of the city of Columbus. If you look southward, you can probably see some of those clouds right now, but it's later on today that we are looking at those showers and storms bubbling back up just like they did like clockwork yesterday afternoon. So another round of that. Here's five o'clock today. Scattered showers and a few thunderstorms as we go through this afternoon and through this evening. Early tomorrow morning could be waking up to some patchy fog again, and then it looks like by tomorrow afternoon we're a little bit drier for our Tuesday. Severe weather outlook for today. We're under the possible category. That's for gusty winds and large hail. So again, it's kind of a repeat of what we saw yesterday, but not so much a repeat of severe weather for what we'll see Wednesday. Wednesday, we've got a system moving in. This could actually lead to some stronger storms as we're under the likely category across our northwestern locations. All right, so today's forecast, again, the umbrella, you'll need it as we go through the rest of the afternoon and through this evening. Temperatures today will climb to the upper 80s. We'll cool off though once that rain begins to move in. We're definitely not cooling off though in your 10 day forecast. We are stair stepping upwards. So if you like the heat, you like the humidity, here you go, my friends. Some of the hottest air that we've seen thus far this summer.